To create this bow, you'll need a small amount of woven or non-stretch fabric, scissors, straight pins, and also this pattern which you can find as a free printable download at my blog, which I'll link below in the description. You'll also need a hand sewing needle, thread, and a sewing machine will also be helpful as well. I'm beginning by cutting out the larger bow piece. You will need one for the front and one piece for the back. You can use two different fabrics, but for this example I'm using the same fabric for both sides. Once you have your two bow pieces, you'll need to cut one rectangular piece for the center. You'll only need one of these because it will be folded lengthwise and stitched along one side. Now with the right sides together, stitch around the edge using a 3 quarter inch seam allowance. Leave an opening at the top edge a couple inches wide. After stitching your seam, clip the seam along the curves, careful to not actually cut into the stitching. Then take the middle piece, fold lengthwise, and stitch along the edge with a 3 4 inch seam allowance. Then using a safety pin or a handy tool like this loop turner, turn your centerpiece right side out. Then you can turn your bow piece right side out, pushing the corners out smoothly. Once you've turned your pieces right sides out, press the edges. Using a threaded hand needle, anchor your thread to the edge of the opening and use a whip stitch or a ladder stitch to close the opening. I'm using a different colored thread for this example, but you can use a thread that matches your fabric so it will be less visible when you're finished. Then fold in half to find the center of the bow, stitch back to the center, and use a running stitch or a basting stitch to sew along the center. Then pull your thread to gather the bow. Take your centerpiece and stitch one end to the back of the bow. Once you've stitched that one end down, wrap the centerpiece around the front and bring the other end back to the back, fold the edge under and stitch down. After adjusting the gathers of your bow, you may want to secure the edges of the piece by stitching them here and there at the back of your piece. This is a great project for using up scrap fabrics or extra fancy fabrics you might have. These bows can be attached to barrettes or headbands, chokers or other jewelry pieces. They can be added as accents to dresses and other garments, used to adorn purses and other accessories, or whatever you can think of. Be sure to visit my blog linked in the description below where you will find this pattern and much more. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel for more DIY projects, tutorials, and more. Thank you.